Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I've got a quick unboxing and review of everything Apple Pro's Rebel Series iPhone 11 Pro case. So this is, of course, the model that is in the aramid fiber, carbon fiber weave, whatever you want to call it. It is aramid fiber, as it says right here. Here's all the specs. It has strong magnets to mount it in a car, which is fantastic. It's got wireless charging compatibility. It looks super cool. And yeah, the box is incredibly premium. Like when I pulled this thing out, I was like, wow, this feels like an Apple product. This is raised up. You probably can't see it because it's so minimal, but you can definitely feel it. The attention to detail is insane. Now, first I was like, why are there two patent pendings here? But they are for two different designs. There's two patents on this. So I guess that's why it's kind of weird that there's two, but hey, whatever. Let's slide this open like so. And we are presented with the case itself. Nothing else in the box. So I'll set that off to the side and here it is wow this looks super cool i can't help but compare this to uh lou later the later case or whatever uh that one was just not a great unboxing experience this feels a little bit more premium let's pull it out here okay so it pulls this whole piece out we've got an entire packet here screen protector and wow everything is branded that's one thing i'm noticing um, we've got alcohol swabs little packet here. Oh, the side application pieces, uh, if you want to protect the sides of your phone, and a tempered glass screen protector. This is also branded very nice. Now, this is just a cheap, uh, I think it's just a cheap uh, Chinese budget screen protector, but that's really not what you're buying this case for. You're buying the case for the case. So let's pull it off of this little plastic piece, set that to the side, and let's wipe it down because there is a little bit of dust on it. And okay, wow. Hold up. This looks so cool. So here it is from side view and head on. This is huh, almost completely smooth. There's a tiny bit of texture. Feels really good. Holy wow. Okay, very rigid. Um, the sides are, uh, they're pretty hard. They're not um, soft, but they have a matte texture. Very hard to explain. Let's see if this is scratch resistant. Yes, it is. Port cutouts. And then in here, you've got your uh, magnetic points so that right here, when you attach it to a mount, it's going to work perfectly up here. Let's feel this. Yep. This is like a very kind of a sticky rubber. Um, that's going to absorb a lot of the impact. They got some on the corners. Philip really thought about this one. So let's go ahead. Let's grab the iPhone 11 pro here and put it into this case. I guess there's no button side first. So top first, put it in like that and whoa. Okay. This is unlike any other iPhone case that I've ever used. Okay, I'm just trying to get used to this, but this is kind of crazy. I really don't use iPhone cases in general because on a day-to-day, -day, I like to appreciate Apple's design. But this just, this is different because you can grip the whole side of the phone like this, but it's still protected. That is just, I don't know. I've never experienced a case quite like this, uh, so it's a new experience. Let's go over a little bit more of the details of this case. As you guys can see, it is raised on the back here even more than right here. So that means if you set it down, it's not going to hurt the back carbon fiber. It's not going to hurt the camera lens. Some accent marks. Don't know if you guys can see that, but some divots. Wow, this feels really solid. It doesn't add much bulk to the phone at all, like in weight. But when you're just holding it, you really almost feel like it's not there. It, It's very weird because the, the sides are cut out. Now, in the package, like I said, it does come with these side protectors. So where are they? Here they are. So I can put these... Come on, I can put these on the sides here so I can cover this with plastic and this. And if I do that, uh, it should protect the stainless steel. Now, if you guys look at my stainless steel, if I get all this fingerprints off of it, there is, it's flawless. There's nothing there. It is, there's no scratches. And I've not used a case daily since I got this phone. So I'm not worried about that at all. But if you want a little bit grippier, this is probably gonna do it, but Wow, this case is seriously something else. Um, everything Apple Pro, you've done a fantastic job on this. I know how much time and effort it takes to completely customize something like this. I mean, look at these lines. Do worry a little bit about dirt getting in the back here, but it looks like the finish is so tight. The tolerance is so tight, I think it'll be okay. Of course, there's no camera issues with this. Cutouts, of course, are spot on all around. Obviously, this is a huge cutout. So this is easily worth what, I don't even remember what I paid when I pre-ordered this like four months ago, like 45 bucks or something, easily worth it. This is probably my favorite case of the year so far. Now, I feel like I could see myself rocking this on a daily basis just because it's so unique. 
Um, it's just something about it is just very different. Like you don't see phone cases that look like this very much. Uh, you see the run of the mill. Maybe you'll see a few carbon fiber ones, but none that look quite like this. So this is a win for sure, guys. I highly recommend this fantastic case overall. The quality feels so good. I'm just going to bring in this uh, magnetic thing from a different phone to see how it feels. Yes, these are very strong. Yeah, I could easily put this in my car. Uh, no issues there. That's pretty strong. So check this case out if you want, guys. I'll have it linked down below. I think the only place you can get this right now is on Everything Apple Pro's website. Uh, so I'll link you there. I think he is working on a Gen 2, which I will probably be ordering as well just to show you guys. Uh, but this thing gets a thumbs up from me. Good job, Philip. That's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.